In this tutorial, we will see how to create 3D bridge in AutoCAD. So let's start. So first we will see two southeast isometric. Then give you see icon, no region, enter. So we want to work on right lane, so go to view, say right. then create two reference line one horizontal line I will create suppose of 45 length then I will copy this line upward by 10 distance so this is the limit of my bridge then one vertical line on the left then I will copy this line at desired distance as you want. Suppose I want this line to be on point five distance. Then I will copy this line on suppose four point five distance. Now I will create a two point circle. So I will go back to home and select a circle two point. Then I will create one two point circle here on the edges. Then I will move this circle down so uh, this will define the profile arches of the bridge so I will trim the unwanted areas so I don't want this I don't want this now I will co uh, copy this shape copy this arch as many time as you want as per requirement I will copy all of that okay then last one okay so these arches are defined then I want this line to be at point for you again last line so I will just offset it on point five distance and I will just connect these lines using fillet select first line select second line select first line select second line so in this way this arch is ready then you can convert this arch into 3d using press pull just select press pull command go inside the shape click inside the shape once it is highlighted then give the width suppose I want the width to be 5 so I will give the 5 width or I will take it 7 ok press full give the width give the width of 8 suppose N then view this in conceptual visual style so in this way these arch are ready then I want protection walls on the sides so I will just use the copy edges so I will say copy edges select the edge enter base point direction so I want protection all of point 0.5 thickness same way I want this on this side also so I will just copy this line copy base point direction point 0.5 thickness ok then I will convert this wall into 3d using press pull protection walls so I will just take my cursor inside those walls just zoom press pull go inside the give the height suppose I want height to be up point for you so I will just give the height of point for you ok then now this side also I will press pull just say press pull then go inside 
the area give the height height of point for you okay so small protection walls are ready then I will I want to put pipes on to that uh, or rods on on that so I will just create one circle okay now I have to work on top lane so I will go back to view and say top just select top then I will create a circle for definition of rod or pipe so I, I will create a pipe of point not for you diameter radius then I will press pull this pipe so I will come back to home and say press pull and go inside the circle and give the height suppose I want a height of 1 1 point for you so this vertical rod is ready so I will move it and put on the wall so just select move select select the bottom center and put it on the mid of the wall make ortho up ok just undo ok ortho up then zoom on the corner and just catch the midpoint ok now I will move it inside a fraction uh, inside suppose I will move it make the ortho on again so I will keep it here now uh, same I want on this side also so I will copy enter give the base point this side this corner and I will put it with uh, reference to this corner so two rods are ready now so I will array this uh, rods using 3d array just select 3d array select both the rods then give enter then type of array is rectangular number of rows so number of rows I want to be suppose 45 then column 1 level 1 gap between rows is 1.5 meter or suppose 1 meter so in this way this array is ready up to the end then I will just create a line on the top connecting the first and last pipe so I will take the center of this rod and I will go up to the last rod so just pan it and click on the center of the last rod so this line is ready escape then I will cre create one circle of point not for you then I will just sweep this circle sweep select this circle then enter then sweep path I will take this line just I created so this top pipe is ready then I will copy this pipe at point 75 distance so I will say copy this pipe give base point give the direction below I want it to be copied at point 75 so these two pipes are ready so I will copy this pipe on this side also so just copy take the base point of this corner this side end point of this and with that a reference create with respect to this end point on this side so in this way protection piping is ready so you can uh, remove the unwanted lines and unwanted parts just erase those them then you can apply the material um, by choosing here from here suppose I want something masonry so masonry so flooring finish fabric door windows concrete masonry ok so I want this masonry unit apply it on the bridge enter now material is not visible so just go to render and say here material and texture on so it look the bricks are looking very larger size 
so we can reduce their size using material mapping just click on material map say box then select the bridge enter then adjust the size using these blue arrows click on that and come closer so the brick size will reduce same way I want to reduce in height too so I will click up arrow and go down so just I want ok so this is up upside then crosswise also I want to reduce so click on this cross side arrow and go inside adjust the material adjust the size so in this way you can apply material also just press escape to come out so bricks are applied same way you can apply a metal mat steel on the rods so door and window select this steel galvanize just uh, zoom out and just click the window and that's all so steel galvanize is also applied so in this way we have created a bridge so that's all we will stop here thanks for joining